Hello guys, you are watching Linux Kida and in this video I'll show you the steps so anyone can do this TVL boot. So without further delay, let's get started. You search the disk management, click on it. Here you have to create a partition. You can see I have already created a partition name CentOS on F disk. So you can also create by clicking right click and shrink volume and give this space i have given about 57 gb you can give up to 50 gb and after that create a right click and format the disk so you will ready to go and just now restart your pc with centos to output select the usb driver select the language and by default I'm selecting English and then press continue select the installation destination and here is our hard disk and here you have to click on it and select on the custom storage configuration done here you can see the list of partitions okay first we have to delete it by clicking that minus symbol you can delete it so we can create a new further partition on it just click on delete it okay now you can see the unknown space I have clicked the plus button now add the home partition uh, and give the capacity about 5 GB so let me just type it okay now after that I have to create a swap partition now again click on plus and write it down swap give the size about 1.86 GB you can give any size it depends on your computer functionality and availability of space okay and after that click on again plus and give the space for the root user that is slash I am giving the half of remaining uh, size that is 49 GB and after that click add mount point and click the device type as standard partition and file system as ext4 ok and swap it's standard partition and swap as it is swap file system it does not change here ok so we are done here and just click on the apply changes and continue on the Bing installation so you can also select the C software installation with GUI okay now we have to create her a uh, here a root password and user creation so just give the root password but uh, you have to remember it just add another password it is too weak okay now create a user give the username and uh, password okay it will be your login password username and password so you have to just wait it after a few seconds yes it is finished now click on the reboot here you will not able to see the 
uh, Windows 7, 10 or any operating system just we have to configure it in CentOS so you can able to see in further step okay So this license okay you have to just accept it and click on the done so centos is opened just give the password okay so it is centos 8 installed successfully so we have to just configure it for the dual boot so windows can also able to boot so you have to just keep these steps by keeping next and skip okay you are ready to go okay just open the command prompt terminal and login as a sudo by doing su command give the password after that ftis hyphen l you can see the partitions here okay and you can use plk id so we can get the uuid from here for the windows partitioning this is our windows partition so just remember it it is system reversed you can see the label okay so you have to just copy this uuid we will need it for in the next step so so from the file which is in slash etc slash grub slash grub dot d and slash 40 underscore custom enter it so we have to add a few lines here just click on the insert and press enter and write down the following steps as I am writing it is a menu entry for Windows 7 you can also add Windows 8 or 10 it's depend on your operating system what is currently installed and just follow this commands so you can able to see the dual boot in next step Here you have to copy that UID. Okay. Click on the right click and copy and set it here. Even this space. Just perfect. Okay. Chain loader plus one opening and closing bracket I forgot the opening bracket so after windows 7 you have to create a one curly brace yes, now save it now write this command grub2 hyphen mk config hyphen o slash boot slash grub2 slash grub.cfg and enter if you have done correctly the steps then you can see this successful configuration here if you you get error then you have forget something steps okay now just type the reboot so system will reboot and you will able to see the 12 partition here 
there it is v to 7 and sin 2 is so guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video